Hello. I just recently got a Gazia Classic uh, espresso machine, and uh, it came with this Panarello steam wand. And I tried to make some microfoam, and uh, it didn't work out. Too much air. And the, the way this is put together, if you take it apart, you see that the air comes up through some notched holes on the end here. If I turn it the right way, you can see there's notches. And the air goes in right there and then travels down a groove and comes out the end with the steam. The steam goes, of course, goes out your stainless tube down this hole. Well, too much air comes through these notches and, and down the groove. And the way to fix that <clears throat> and make a manual wand out of it is to... Uh, block the groove that's in the end of your steam tube. If I uh, get some light on this just right, I'll be able to point out the, the groove. Uh, let's see here. There we go. It's, uh, you can see it hitting at the edge right there the bottom of that tube there is a notch and it's about three-eighths of an inch long or so and uh, I'll make sure you see it I'll put a tool on it sliding back and forth see there that notch right there all of the air that comes in the wand has to pass through that notch so if we can obstruct that notch We'll have no air coming through the tube, and we can manually put just the right amount of air in and make our microfoam for latte art. All right, how are we going to do it? Well, <clears throat> I have a figured I'd just use Teflon tape. It's good for high heat surface uh, service, and I'll just wrap, get a few wraps on my finger, and. Uh, lap it over that notch and I think that's going to take care of it for us. Just need to get enough tape to lap over there and, and fall in and fill that notch. Yeah, four or five wraps like that should do it. Now peel it off my finger like that. Flatten it out. Now, I'll find the notches here. And we see they're right there. So I'll just place the tape about half of it inside and half of it out. And then press the end. It attaches to the stainless tubing in there and, and push it in there firmly. Now, all we have to do is attach this to the stainless tubing of the steam wand. We're loosening this nut, as we did it to remove it in the first place. Slide it up on the tube, and you don't have to expose the small parts inside. And then tighten it down in place. And then you can just dip the tip of this tube into your milk and get, get a nice... Uh, steaming and uh, frothing action going there without getting too much air. Getting too much air out of this um, uh, stock to get it done. But this seems to work great. Thanks a lot. I hope that works for you.